Rihanna Navarosa has this putt for birdie to win the match and put USC in tomorrow's championship match. Well, this ball position on the back edge of the green, just off the putting surface. It's back uphill. We'll move from left to right. How about that? So just pointed over now. It's going to be Rosane next to putt coming down the hill, turning right to left. Can she work some more magic? Turns left. So now it changes the strategy here for Brianna Navarosa. She has two putts to win the match and send USC to tomorrow's championship against Wake Forest. Ranked 154th in the world rankings, taking on number one. She's never trailed. Be conceded. Brianna Navarosa has taken down Rose Zhang, and USC is headed to tomorrow's championship match. And while we have a moment, let's send it down to Jim Gallagher, Jr. Thanks, Bob. Take me through the emotions, because you were sitting there and you couldn't control yourself. I want you to take a deep breath. Take us through those emotions, what this win means to you and the team. That might have been the least amount of fun I've ever had on a golf course, that back nine. <laughs> um, but that was an amazing day. Uh, I'm so proud of our group. Uh, Christine Wang, who we've subbed in, subbed out, subbed back in today, gets a win against Brooks, a really good player. Um, Bree holds off the greatest amateur golfer of all time. Um, and then Cindy Ko goes out and puts up a great round, three up, down to even, then closes out her match on 17. I'm so proud of this group. Uh, this is a long day. Everyone told me how tiring this day was. Now I believe them. Uh, so we got to get this group some rest and get back tomorrow. How difficult is it for a coach to sub somebody in and out? Because everybody wants to play. We've done it with some success this year. It's very, very difficult. They're very difficult conversations to have. Um, but luckily, we have some depth uh, through our player development. It's worked out really well. And, um, you know, Bree's been subbed in, played really well this year. Christine was subbed in at Pac-12s, put up a great final round. Um, so we did it with some regularity, um, and it paid off in, in the long run. Message last night or this morning to the team? Well, this morning was kind of stay disciplined, uh, stick to our game plan. And then after we won this morning's match against South Carolina, it, it changed a little bit. It was stay disciplined, but let's get greedy. Um, we were really fired up after that South Carolina win. Like I said earlier, it's been a while since we won a match here. Um, so rightfully so, we were pretty fired up. We wanted that East Lake invitation. We got it. Um, but then it needed to turn to getting greedy. Um, and that's something we did. And they stayed committed and stayed really disciplined. And we're going to have to do that again tomorrow because Wake Forest is as good as there is in the country and their coaching staff is amazing. Um, so we're going to need to be extra disciplined. And more to take them down. You mentioned Rose Zhang. Navarosa goes up to against her. What do you tell her before she goes out in that match? 
I told her on the green right before I went out with Catherine that she didn't need to be a superhero. She just needed to be herself. Um, we put Bree in that spot because she's hitting it really well and she's our best putter. Um, and to beat Rose, you're going to have to run the tables on the greens. That's something I learned, you know, playing the USAM against her, catting for Gabby Ruffles, um, and a couple other instances. Um, and Bree was in the spot to do that. She stayed within herself. She believed in herself, and I'm so happy she got it done. Well, congratulations. Go enjoy that with the team. Go get some rest tonight. Thank you. Final. Over to you, Billy Ray. All right, Jim, thanks a lot. Brianna, you were given the tall task today to play the number one amateur in the world in Rose Zang. How did you pull this match off? I just played like it was just another round. I mean, I knew going into today or into the second round, it was going to be a battle. Um, I just went in there not thinking anything of rankings, of where we each stand and like Wagger. I just played my best and I gave my all to the very end and I think that paid off. Well, certainly down the stretch, uh, you made a number of putts, but the putt back at 17, or excuse me, at 16, how big a putt was that to actually to, to make Rose make that putt to extend the match? I knew that would apply pressure, but I didn't know how important that would be, especially going into 17. I just knew I had to make it, but standing over it, I was like, this is going in the hole. Well, you get the final point to advance USC to the finals play in Wake Forest tomorrow. Your thoughts on tomorrow's matches? Um, I think we have a good run, and I think we're trending, and I think it's finally our time. All right, congratulations. Thank you. Back to you, Bob. How are we doing? I don't know. Waving, apparently. USC has a chance to win their fourth <laughs> national championship. They'll take on Wake Forest in the championship matches tomorrow. What an impressive performance as they take down number one, and the top seed and the defending national champion, Stanford Cardinal.